Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Chips Challenge 2, The Secret of the Ooze, and today we've got a whole bunch of nonsense going on here. This is, uh, this is very difficult to parse indeed. What is going on here? Uh, I don't suppose it's as easy as just going into the left and getting those fire boots and going to the exit, is it? It is not. Ah, uh, well, a boy can dream. Well, we can get this bowling ball, and it looks like, uh, okay, we can't go in anywhere around here. We can also get these fire boots, though, and we can't go in this way. I would appreciate it if the if the invisible stuff would stay visible once I touch it. Well, we've got this. How about... Okay, we've got a railroad crossing, a bowling ball, and... Okay, I can't just go up into there. Can't have the thief taking my stuff. Where do I need to use... Okay, I don't think this can be pushed at all in either direction. That's a red herring. There's fire boots underneath that. Why don't we just collect another pair of fire boots, why don't we? And let's also try... I don't see a key anywhere. I'm gonna need some kind of key. There's a key hidden under something, it would seem. Uh, is there a direct line to the teeth? Do I need to destroy the teeth somehow? What if I go over to where the thief is and try to bowl over that? What happens if I do that? Nothing. I have destroyed no teeth. Possibly on account of the bowling ball getting destroyed in the fire? I don't know. And it wasted my bowling ball, so... Let's go around and get these things. We don't have much time to complete this level. Um... But there doesn't seem to be anything... This is a... I'm having a tough time reading this level. Uh, maybe, maybe there's something under one of the, it looks like there might be something either under this bomb or that's a speck of crap on my monitor. Well, I can get in here, but a fat lot of good that does me. Let's just go around kind of destroying the things we can destroy with the bowling ball and seeing if that helps us out any. That bowling ball right there, still not much of a help there. Uh, what about, maybe I don't even need to grab all of these things. Bummer. Okay, and I can be killed by the teeth. Just wanted to see for the sake of for the sake of scientific discovery and scientific progress, which as we all know goes boink. Uh okay. Okay, there's a bunch of Okay, there's something here. There's something here that I'm not seeing that I can get into. None of the green blocks seem to be real. No. Nothing really going on with that. So where is where is the reality of the situation? What is the realest real? Did I destroy that? Did I try destroying that with a thing? Let's try. I, maybe I did. But again, it doesn't really do anything for me. What's the what's the deal here, boys and girls? Okay, I didn't know this, but I don't think I would have figured this out on my own. I'm glad I looked this up, but apparently, uh, just as you can walk onto a fire space that has fire boots and you instantly pick up the fire boots, you can also kind of do the opposite. I can drop the fire boots right here, and I'm fine as long as I'm standing on that space. So what I can do now is grab this, bring this over here, bowl him away, and now I have boots and I can get on here. There we go. That's all there is to that. That's really all there is to that level. And weirdly, I don't know if I would have figured that out. Like, it doesn't make sense. You think you take off the fire boots, I'm going to get roasted, right? It's not something that naturally occurs to you. So, I, I don't know about that one. It does require some out-of-the-box thinking, but I don't know that that's a direction that my brain would have gone. Like, I figured out all the parts you could get, but then I couldn't figure out that one last thing that put it all together. And that's having to put the fire boots on the fire while you're on the fire, knowing that it won't toast you. Did the game teach you that? I don't know if it did. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was kind of nonsense. So let's move on to Jetline. Big old jet airliner by Nick Lario. What have we got going on here? Oh, hey, we're out running fire, it looks like. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Oh, hey, oh, okay, all right. We're out running this whole business then. Okay, so he's melting things. Uh, okay, oh, that flipped those things. So now I have a yellow switch. Okay. All right, I have a yellow key, rather. Um, ooh, and if I get bonus points, I can get that later, too. Okay, so I guess I just have to walk through the... Oh, boy. Woo, that's spooky. Oh, gosh. He's coming for me. 
All right, so now I can get these. All right. I like I like the teeth following me across the thing, activating fire. There's an element of danger, but it doesn't feel like a like a twitch reflex of any kind that I need. Okay. Bummer. Why why did I do that? I don't have fire boots. That's really odd and unusual. Why did I decide to do that that way? Who knows? I cannot say for sure, but I'm going to let him get over here. No. No, I had to come down to this one because this was where the this is where the yellow key was. Just pop this. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, yeah, well, now I got myself well and truly stuck. If you don't actually pop the doors open first, then you can't uh, help yourself out. And the best way to help yourself is by helping others. That's a good little bit of a life advice. Uh, surely it makes some kind of sense to someone out there. I'm just kind of talking off the cuff right now. Let's see. okay, so wait for these to go off. Okay, so we're gonna be going through one phase at a time and we have to run away from the fire jets which are being activated one by one. We got most of our chips though. Uh, oh wait, do I need to find a way? Ooh, we got water here. Am I gonna get flippers? Because otherwise we need to find a way to preserve ice blocks and that's a scary prospect. Uh, well, we've got those ice blocks up there. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be doing some, uh, doing some high shenanigans. Okay, let's try... Oh, no. Uh, okay, first of all, let's scope out the field here. Um, what keys do... I already got the green key, and that got me the... That got me most of the chips. Is there anything else I can get around here? Okay, there's a, there must be a, there might be a red key around here somewhere that would help me get some ice boots. And I don't see any flippers, so I must be needing to use these ice blocks down here somehow. Okay, so let's r outrun the fire once more. You're actually faster than the teeth. That's kind of an interesting to do. Um, so how do I get up in here? feel like I need to kind of bring it over this way. I think I... Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. I see. <laughs> get it? Oh, gosh. I'm so smart. Okay. Oh, and there's the red key. Okay. Well, now we can get these, though. So we're going to take these over here one at a time and do this. Because we can push lines of ice blocks. We can... Uh... Oh, yeah. We've got to go get the ice boots so that we can get that chip. And then we can leave the level. Okay, not a hard one. Maybe should have figured it out a little faster than I did. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I should have come from the opposite end because he would get... Okay, ha, ha, very cute. You gotcha me. I, that's, that's not the worst gotcha. In fact, it's kind of cute. Okay. See, you got to think about outrunning the teeth. So you come this way so that you have a chance to get ahead of him. Then you can get those ice boots safely. See, I was not playing it like a smarty pants. Uh, and I have no extra bonus stuff to get, so I just need to go in. There's no real point in zero times two is zero, and I'm not getting that 1k flag there. So I think I may as well just uh, get what I came for now that I have the ice boots and be on my merry way. That was a cute level. Not too tough at all. That was a... That was actually a nice little breather after all the nonsense of nonsense. So there we go. We went Bitbuster as we have so many times so far. Now I've got you. Find your way out of this one. He went through a litany of voices there for some reason. Breaking in. Okay, we're breaking in. What happens? Okay. What have we got here? Okay, we could... Okay. So we must have to do the thing where we manipulate... Okay. Okay, we must have to do the thing where we manipulate it by pushing at least most of these. Uh, I'm going to try just doing this for now and seeing what happens. Oh, hey, okay, I pushed that one out of the way. Um, Alright, looks like, looks like the ones on the left may be linked. So I'm going to push those around for now. The, the ones across from each other, I mean to say. They are, they are linked to each other by... Well, we could also do this problem. Well, do we want to do that, though? Okay, okay, we got the chip. Oh, is that the whole... 
Was that the whole idea? Oh yeah, and then I got myself stuck in. I think I did this during room number nine too. I did the did the exact same kind of thing. I need to so I need to take two of these, I think, probably. And uh use them to maneuver myself out. So I can go in through the left and maybe uh exit through this is a this is a pretty simple lesson that they taught you, I think. Unless there's some kind of twist to it that I am unseeing. Let's try... Yeah, same... Oh, am I on the outside of it? No, I'm on the inside of it. Oh, there has to be some way to block them up so that... Okay, yeah, I'm on the inside of here. There has to be some way to use all four of these blocks to block them up so that I can both get in and get out. Oh, now I have to be, uh... I, I knew there was probably something more to it than that. There's just the one chip. But you gotta find yourself a way to get both in here and out of here. Alright, I think I may have it. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and push these over here so that we have a place to go in. Now for these other two, we need to push... I'm gonna push this one in here. And then I'm going to push this other one in... Where's a good place to push it in? I think probably up here, linked with this one. Oh no, it went through this one. Okay, so... Um... No, it, it went in that one and it went out the other one. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Okay, I need to push one in... Where do I need to push one in at? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna push one here. And one here. So what happens, right? What happens then if I push it over, if I push one over into here? Will this just block it up? Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. It gets it in there. And then I can kind of, I think I can kind of push it inside, right? Oh, I didn't want to do that just yet, though. Um, because now, now I'm stuck on the inside with this block. Yeah, okay. I'm getting there, though. You have to kind of push blocks in so that you can make your way out okay so yeah push this into here push this here and then it's blocked up so that you can push it into here yeah that's the whole idea with that and then you want to push another one in from another angle like say uh, we'll just do this I think up here I don't think it matters much the direction you do it from as long as you get two blocks in there so I'm gonna go ahead and push another one inside okay so now I have two blocks in there and now what I should be able to do is push these back here I think right so that then what happens is when I go in the other side, I think that's how it works out. If I remember my transporter physics correctly, I think I just go in through here. And then I end up going, I push this through here so that when I go up through here, I just let myself out. Okay, yeah, that's not too hard to, that's not too hard to work through. That was not a bad little one. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. There is a way to, uh, get yourself out. There is a way to extricate yourself if you do... If you have to get a chip on the inside of a bunch of blue teleporters, there is a way to get out. And just, uh, it just requires some thought. Panic Chip by Scott Feeney. Oh, I like panic levels. That should be fun. Okay, what's going on? Oh, hey, woo! Okay, I'm letting out a bunch of, I'm letting out a bunch of ugly things here. Let's, let's let that out. Just get that out of the way first and foremost. Okay, so yeah. The more chips I collect, the more chaos I'm inciting. Okay. Okay, he kind of got... This is not so bad. Am I... Did I really just get it? Wow. That was an easy one. Okay. Well, yeah, you, you kind of let more things out as you go along, but it, it's never overwhelming. I did not feel even a lick of panic that whole time. I, I didn't feel very nervous about my chances at all. Uh, a nice little level. A nice little one there. Rethink. Gotta rethink everything. Okay, alright. What do we have to rethink? We have to rethink, uh... Okay. Okay, that's gonna... Okay, yeah. So we do that. Oh, hey, that changes into things. It's going through a whole litany of 
ideas here. So now, okay, I'm gonna go as Chip now. I don't think, well, I didn't really do anything to let myself out, so what was the, okay. Can I turn, I need to turn these toggle doors off somehow. Is this a single screener? I don't really get what's going on for the most part. Uh, so if I go in here, and I unblock this, what happens? Okay, so the they stop turning into things. But do I need to do I need to change it into some? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wait until it, yeah. There we go. A glider. There we go. Then it'll go. No, it won't go over the fire. Do I need something that will go over the fire so that it can help me out? Let's try. Let's try turning it into a number of things. Okay. Oh yes. There we go. There's some progress. That's perfect indeed. Okay. All right. And then I can get through here now. Okay, now that I've done this, I can <laughs> shut myself in here. <laughs> okay, great. I'll say, okay, so so let's see what I Okay, I need to get that thing turned into a fireball. Okay, let's unshut this thing first. So, okay. When it becomes a fireball, let's open the toggle door. There we go. Okay, and then I turn myself into chip to get out of here. Why do I feel as though... Well, hold on. Okay, yeah, I can open that up. Why do I feel as though I have made a mistake by allowing that fireball to go get itself killed after... after doing its thing? So you get this open. Yeah, the thing I'm not figuring out, the thing I'm not seeing is how to get... I need to get this open. Maybe I need to outrun it so that it goes and opens that. Let's try that. Let's see if I can uh, move fast enough to do that. I'll have to be really quick on the fly, though. So I got to turn this into a into a fireball. Okay, there it goes. Now I'm going to turn into... Bummer. Why did I go through the fire? I meant to go through the gravel. Good grief. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn you into... A fireball. Okay, so now I run through here, come up through here. Bummer. Make sure to wait before I go through that. And then, okay, I think I'm slowly but surely figuring this one out. I think there's a few elements to keep in mind. Okay, you're that. I turn into that. Okay, so now I go through here. Oh, no, he caught me. Can he help me out, though? No, he can't. I think I, I think I messed up. I think, I, why did I go get it? I need to be the one that closes the button so that the fireball goes through and pushes it itself, right? Okay, yeah, it's, it's moving a little fast for my doddering old man brain, but let's try it once more with feeling. Okay. And then let's do this again. There we go. Okay, yes, there we go. Okay, that's exactly what I had to do. Finish good work. Okay, that's not that's not so bad. Um what is our what is our runtime looking like here as far as like the aggregate of takes? Give me just a second to look at my time totals before I decide whether to move on to another one for today. Yeah, I've got enough for an episode. That'll wrap it up for today. Join us next time for more Chips Challenge 2.